Hi, this is Phoenix Genesis from phoenixgenesis.com and our two YouTube channels, Phoenix Genesis and Fry Camp. We're ready to go back on the Pacific Crest Trail 2018. I haven't been in the Sierra since 2016. I'm going to jump up and start at Kennedy Meadows just because it's late in the season and I don't want to go through the hot desert and carry all that water. So um, I'm going to, and, and I was going to do part of it, but then I'd have to have the bear canister ship. So I'm just going to go up to Kennedy Meadows uh, on Friday with the bear canister ready to go. I have both. I own both the 550 uh, BV and and the 450. And this is the uh, 450. I like this better. It fits in that little pouch. If you haven't seen my video, I'll put a link at the bottom of the video on how I fit that right in there, nice. And I don't have to strap it down. Worry about it rolling off. It's good to go in that little pack. Now, this is a protein shake that I just came up with. I think is really going to be very nutritious for me. It's going to help lower inflammation has natural antioxidants, uh, tastes good, and it has a nice balance of uh, calcium. So uh, if you don't have a lot of calcium and you're taking too much protein, uh, you're going to leach out that calcium out of your bones. Uh, look it up. I'm not a doctor. So um, I really want you to do your own research. Learn what's healthy. Um, taking vitamin I, as the PCT um, hikers call it, is terrible for you. It's just masking. You really want to have natural anti-inflammatory. So I'll show you what I have what I feel is a very, very good balance and healthy. And, um, and this is the amount. I don't know how long this is going to last. We'll learn, but I don't want to carry more than this. Uh, I double bag it, and I did a twisty tie, and it's got one of those little oxygen packets, so I um, it's it doesn't get a uh, condensation in there. I don't want to really get this wet and ruin it. I really want to have that uh, little packet in there. So with the double bagging and the packets, we've got our scale going. It comes in at... Uh, 600, 650 grams, which comes to, I think, uh, one pound, six and seven eighth ounces. Yes. So, and you want to make sure you stir this very well. And again, this is for me. I don't recommend you just kind of going blindly. You need to sample and taste these kind of, um, ingredients alone one by one at home to see that you don't have any allergic reactions. Everybody's body is different. Um, there is no one uh, size fits all. This is what works for me. It's a suggestion and a point for you to start thinking about what you can do. Again, protein shakes don't work very well in the desert because of the lack of water. But in the Sierras, there's tons of water. Wonderful. Oh, the best water I ever tasted in my life. So um, it's really easy to go stoveless and to have this kind of... Um, you know, protein. So let's go and see what I put in here. So first of all, I started with the Terra Origin Bone Broth uh, Protein Vanilla. I don't know if there's other flavors. I'm assuming because this is the vanilla. I got this at Marshall's for $19.99. It's normally $30.99. I bought a couple of these. Um, are really good. And you can, I'll go through, you can kind of just pause the video if you want, see the ingredients. I'm not going to sit here and read everything, but it has collagen, uh, Hydrosate, uh, bovine turkey, uh, turkey, sorry, the uh, broth protein powder, chicken broth powder, uh, and um, some cornstarch. I guess that's kind of the hold it together natural flavor and silicon dioxide. It's probably a preservative, probably not the best thing, but what are you gonna do, right? You need to, you can't refrigerate this, so um, you can you can mix this with almond, cashew, or coconut milk. Can can be consumed hot or cold, which is wonderful. Uh, with water, juice, smoothie, shake. Um, so one scoop is eight to ten ounces, um, and store in a cool, dry place. Uh, well, oh well. <laughs> the Sierras, there's still snow there. It should be cool and dry. Um, not always, but most of it. Then um, I wanted to add a little more than just a bone broth. So I have um, this protein superfood that I've been using for a couple of years now. This is a complete plant-based protein with greens, fruits, and veggies. Um, pure vanilla. I tried the chocolate. I didn't like it as much. I like the vanilla better. It's gluten-free, no sugar added, plant-based, and non-GMO. So again, I'm going to go really slow. You can see all the um, nutrition information. See, it's got lots of potassium and sodium. It's got carbs. It's got uh, and it's got fat, and it's got tons of protein. Just everything you kind of need. Here we go, and we'll take a look at the ingredients here. And here we go. We've got um, organic wheatgrass, uh, um, organic alfalfa, organic barley grass, organic spinach, orga organic spirulina, organic chlorella, 
uncracked cell wall. I guess it's really good. Organic broccoli, um, chlorella, which is really good. Um, spirulina is a blue-green um, algae, really good micronutrients. And we got, for your protein, you got your peas, your hemp, um, your chia, your uh, quinoa, which is really good. Quinoa is a root vegetable. You've got um, acai, banana, which is your potassium beets, really, really good for um, testosterone, for men especially. Organic carrot, organic goji. Goji berries are supposed to be a Himalayan superfood. Pineapple, which is really good. Pineapple burns fat and cleanses. Um, sweet potato, another superfood. Raspberry and organic rose hips, which is your vitamin C. So that's uh, all the goodies in here. And here I can you can take another look and you know again pause the video read at your own leisure and that's it promises lean muscles uh, satisfies hunger I don't know about hiker hunger though we'll find out nourishing energy and aids digestion very important uh, you don't want to have a bunch of food sitting in your gut while you're trying to trudge up some uh, mountain pass add one scoop with 12 ounces or more water so that's good um, now and we want to have carbs too and more calcium so i have this gerber organic rice cereal calcium is important like i said it um if you don't have calcium in the you know the circulate in your body your bones will like leach it out to, to make your blood happy so you really want that calcium so here we go um here's some nutrition facts on this see we got um, again a lot of potassium so not that much potassium sodium but a nice balance equal um, and you've got um, carbs. So this is really where your carbs are going to come from and your calcium. And here we go. Organic rice flour, soy, um, carbonate, uh, da, 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 iron, vitamin C, vitamin E. I mean, lots of um, folic acid. Uh, all <coughs> sorry, all kinds of good stuff. Um, iron for brain development. Da, da, da. So anyway, that I feed that to my possum too. Then... Um, I want to have um, some of this Himalayan pink salt because I, of course, I, I'm going to um, burn, a, you know, sweat a lot, lose a lot of salt. So that's important in addition to our potassium. So I don't put too much in. I just kind of put some little chunks in there. Uh, cinnamon, this is what makes it taste good. And cinnamon supposed to be really good for the brain. I just like crave it all the time. If I don't have my black pepper and my cinnamon every day, I get really... Um, cranky so i'm just dumping it in there and the black pepper helps to assimilate our next crucial product which is the ground um uh turmeric some people say uh turmeric i don't know how you want to pronounce it i'm hearing impaired so i just say turmeric um this stuff is great uh ucla alzheimer's um institute did a study and they showed that they could actually reverse some of the effects of alzheimer's um, with turmeric, it cleans out the amelioid betas and tau tangles of the brain, which, um, you know, when that stuff's in your brain, it's really bad for you. Like if you eat a lot of pizza and, and nitrates, luncheon meats, um, the microwave popcorn butter is, to, uh, re that stuff's really toxic to the brain. And when the brain's toxic, you, um, have problems burning fat. You have problems, um, you know, using all your bodily functions with breathing, rest, you know, um, you know, just your brain thinking at altitude. This is critical to have your brain functioning at peak performance. Uh, also, uh, you get inflammation. There's a lot of studies with um, how the brain functions with Alzheimer's and rheumatoid arthritis. So, uh, you know, you want to po keep popping those um, vitamin I's, as they call them, the ifeprofens. You want to take something natural to lower your inflammation from stressing your body out, going up massive mountain passes, carrying a heavy pack. So um, I take this all the time. It's like my brain feels like it's supercharged on this stuff. I mean, really, really amazing stuff. And again, I'm not a doctor. I don't want you to say, oh my God, I took this or that and I didn't get these expected results. Do your own research. Um, this is what works for me. This is what makes me feel these, all these things make me feel good. And as a result, I take them every day because they make me feel really, really good. And, um, and again, um, you know, you may be allergic to something. Again, I cannot stress this and say this again. Take things in small doses, one separately at a time for weeks. See if these things work for you. But this is something just to think about, especially for people for 2019. If you want to start trying some of these things out, making your own um, combinations, put it online for me. Let me know. Uh, then I just want to show you the last two ingredients, the Hershey's Cocoa. This is 100% cacao, natural, unsweetened. This is loads of antioxidants and also it does make 
make the uh, shake taste a little better. Actually, all these things alone, I think, taste delicious. The only thing that tastes um, not so delicious to me of, of all of them is the bone broth protein. So um, that can take a, 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 it's a little acquired taste. So um, this really makes a difference. And uh, ginger is really good. I drink a turmeric ginger um, detox tea with uh, black pepper, of course, to help the assimilation. It has some, I think, fennel root, some sassafras, and some licorice in there. And I could put regular, just put some regular ginger in here, but um, I kind of want the sugar. It's just what makes, you know, a spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down, as they say. So, um, you know, this just a little bit of the sugar gives me a little um, glucose energy um, to kind of power up when I'm kind of feeling low. I just I crave everything ginger, not too much candy, and I don't crave chocolate really that much when I'm hiking, and what I really craved in the Sierras was the ginger, so um, anything ginger, so I have some little ginger candies I'm taking as well, but anyway, I put that in there, boy, that makes a little difference, and in addition to this um, nice um, mixture here, um, what I also carry are the um, emergency little vitamin C's, uh, I actually, let me pull this out real quick for you guys. I, I, you know, I guess you could mix this in, but I just kind of want this separate. But I have a couple different flavors. Um, you can get the emergency brands. I just have the the um, uh, CVS pharmacy brands. Those were kind of on sale at the time. And I think I have tangerine, orange, and raspberry. So those were the three different flavors. So I have a bunch of those packets. And those I'm just going to have kind of separate from the shake. So, um, you know, that'll just be something a little bit different. But I do carry those as well. And I think that's a nice combination. Combination. If you can think of anything else I'm missing that would be good for this kind of um, shake or any other type of powder things that would be great, uh, let me know. I could, by the way, open these up and put these in a um, in one big bag to save weight, but um, I just kind of like the serving amounts. These just work out perfect for me, and I really don't want to measure these. Um, this is easier. I know how to scoop um, with my um, titanium spork to scoop this out, but this is just easier to have these just kind of single serving in the packet. Anyway, I, I hope that helps you. Don't forget also to label your bear canister. Put your name on it, and also um, put some, you know, PCT. If you get lost or separated, you put your permit inside, then people know you're hiking. They know your name, who to contact if you were missing. Um, it says PCT also because people put the bear canisters 100 um, feet away from where you camp. You know, you make that pyramid uh, where you cook, and then you um, 100 feet away is your bear canister. Another 100 feet is where you sleep in your hammock or tent or bivy. So um, you want to, you know, they all start looking alike, and you want someone to grab yours, and then you got a bunch of stuff you don't want to eat. So, um, you know, put your PCT, let people know you're hiking PCT, and then put something that is just kind Kind of you like here i just put my minecraft sticker on here so um i right away i can see my bear canister and it differentiates from other people and i can grab it anyway that's it and phoenix genesis i'll see you on the trail